Hi Cancer, welcome and welcome back to the community. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So let's hop into your reading here, Cancer. In Praise Spirit of the Most High, we call upon you asking for the divine messages to be given to Cancer. Know that we seek the truth, even if the truth is outside of their current paradigm, for the highest good of Cancer and all of those that are involved. Thank you to the divine beings. All right, messages for Cancer. I'll get all your cards out here, and then we'll clarify each of those as well. We have the Five of Swords reversed. The Page of Swords. The Devil reversed. The Seven of Cups. The Five of Pentacles reversed. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. We have one major arcana for you here, Cancer, for the month of July. And this lets me know that you're letting go, okay? You're removing things from your life, releasing things, cutting cords, letting go of addictions, letting go of self-sabotage, you know. I don't feel like it's just that easy to let go of, but that makes me feel like you're, you've are you been already doing your work because it comes in reverse. It's a major arcana that lets me know that you've already been working through your emotions and your fears, and now it's time to sort of sever cords, um, detach from unhealthy forces or situations that you may have found yourself in. In this lifetime, um, in a relationship, in your childhood, whatever this may be for you. The number 15 here uh, reduces down to a 6, which is um, about harmony. So you're bringing balance into your life during this month, which is a good thing. Okay, So there may be a little bit of defeat that may come up, a little bit of challenge that may come up with um, whatever it is that you're walking away from. But, you know, make sure that you're staying out of conflict during this time. There's a lot of things that could be going on around you in your mind, body, spirit, whatever that is. But I do feel like there are opportunities that could be coming up for you. It's, a, it's like a spiritual upgrade, and that's kind of what I've been getting from the signs, the readings I've been doing already, is a, a level of... Um, <clears throat> level of a spiritual upgrade like leveling up in some sort of way and that spiritual upgrade could come in the form of you know your emotions your finances your relationship your love your interpersonal challenges coming to a, a, a close but there is definitely change that is coming up for you okay let's get into each card and clarify each of these we have the five of swords in reverse coming out as your overall energy here for you cancer all right so Anything that come up that comes up for you during this month, I feel like you're going to be able to overcome whatever this is and move past it. Um, because I feel like some of you may be in a place where you're feeling stronger, you're feeling more confident within yourself. Whatever this is for you, you are just sort of staying out of the way, okay, with people, your relationships, a specific res uh, relationship. Or this is you staying away from your coworkers, going to work and just putting your head down and getting the work done, okay? You're not trying to make friends. You're just trying to get your work done and get your check, okay? So I do feel like this that energy is definitely coming up for you where there's some sort of new cycle. But within a new cycle, there is always some sort of challenge that comes up with that where you may feel a sense of um, instability or uncertainty that may come up for you, but it's an opportunity for you to make some sort of adjustment during this month, okay? Let's clarify this uh, Five of Swords. See what's coming up for you. Some of you may have been in the position where you were battling people, but this month I feel like you're just steering clear away from any drama or chaos that may come up in your life. We have the Queen of Cups reversed as well as the Three of Pentacles reversed. All right, in clarifying this. Five of Swords, reverse, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. There may be a level of emotional exhaustion that may come up for you during this month because I feel like you, like I said, been working through things and releasing things, and that takes a lot of energy. I'm hearing some of you have been concentrating or focused on 
letting things go. So that means that I feel that you've been very intentional, okay, about things. And because, Cancer, you are a water sign, you may find yourself sort of up and down in your moods and your, your energy as well because you're trying to find a level of balance after everything that you have just experienced or you're currently in in this moment. But whatever this is, you know, just be patient, be gentle with yourself. And if you need to find, if you need to redraw, withdraw from um, other things, because you're just feeling like you need to work through some things, definitely take a break because I do feel exhaustion and defeat that is coming up for some of you. And you may not want to be bothered with a lot of people during this month for whatever reason that you're experiencing some sort of disharmony or you're just isolating in some way because you need to work through something. Just be gentle with yourself here is the most important thing. I do feel like there's going to be a change. Some of you are not talking about some of the things that you've been going through and you know some of you could be very vocal but I definitely feel like you're sort of internalizing things so that you can let it go or you can heal from it and that is kind of where you are in your journey for some of you not going to resonate with everyone keep in mind it's general this could also be energy of someone that is around you as well okay so there's a withdrawal that is happening for you during this month to sort of take some time away from for yourself um, some of you may decide to celebrate your birthday, a solo birthday. You may decide to not have a big extravaganza like you normally do and just have a very intimate setting. You may just want to do something with just your partner or your immediate family, but it definitely feels like you could be retreating um, from something, someone, multiple people, but I feel like you're in this place of finding yourself. You're building your esteem, Okay. Some of you I'm hearing like I want to be selfish, okay? And selfish is not a bad thing at all. Some of you are just needing to take that time away and to heal. I'm, he I'm, I'm seeing a vision of some of you crying as well, which lets, me, what, what, which lets me know that you are healing from something that you have just recently gone through. Or this could, this could be, you know, like I said, a lifetime of things and emotions that may have come up for you. So... Overall, there is going to be a shift in things of letting go of the things that you have lost, like fully letting it go energetically so that you can move past this. So you may want to take a little bit of time to uh, retreat and really feel and heal the emotions that you're feeling. We have the Page of Swords coming up in your um, challenge obstacle position. We're going to clarify that as well. So this page of swords, um, so some of you may be feeling, I'm feeling disconnected, okay? You may not, you may be feeling disconnected from yourself in a way. But there is also a level of uh, curiosity that sort of comes up for you where you may want to, um, you may want to talk. Some of you I'm hearing watch who you speak to, watch who you are sharing your information with. Because this page of swords this could also be a person that you're talking to. Someone could be spreading your business. Someone could be using that against you at some point. We have Aquarius of Pisces energy here as well, Capricorn. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I definitely feel like be very selective with who you're sharing some of your innermost thoughts and emotions with because people are very talkative. I'm getting a very gossipy um, person that you may be dealing with for some of you okay air sign could be could even be a pisces like i said um but yeah <clears throat> excuse me we have the two the page of swords two of pentacles and then the nine of swords is coming out for you clarifying this page of swords energy so it feels like page of swords nine of swords a lot of back and forth communication some something is Something is a little bit of stressful that you may be holding on to. Could be leaving, keeping you up. Insomnia. I'm, I'm even feeling health for some of you. I don't know if you're having, uh, you know, sleep apnea, even sleep paralysis for some of you guys. But it feels like whatever this is is a is a stress that you have just been holding on to, and you're 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 trying to find a balance, and you're trying to be a little bit more open. But just again, be careful with who you're sh sharing with. Okay, is that keeps coming back very strongly with a page of swords because I feel like it's a person that you know you may trust you can fight in I'm not sure if this person is as emotionally mature as with the information that you're giving them that they you know that you can 100% trust 
um, this person with some of the information that you may be providing them with. Okay, and again, like I said, it definitely feels like um, an air sign, but you know we don't have to be fixated on that. But there is definitely a back and forth. Okay, and maybe this is you going back and forth with someone as well. Um, it definitely, I don't want to say it feels heated. I just feel like there is some communication that goes back and forth between you and someone at some point. And this could just be the beginning of that too, where this month it might be a struggle for some of you. Maybe you have, there's someone that you may have held close to you. There's never really been any conflict between the two of you, but then this might be something where you, you sort of go back and forth about something. You may be disagreeing about something. And I don't know if it's a secret or something that's heavy. As I'm looking at the Nine of Swords here, something that's dark that they're holding on to you. You're holding on to something for them. Not sure that's how that's going to show up, but I feel like there's just, there again, there is a back and forth, a balancing act that you're trying to create here. You're trying to juggle something and, and not sure how that's showing up for you. Let me pull one more card on that. Three of Swords. So this is someone that you possibly had a strong connection with. So this could be some sort of heartbreak that's coming up. So some of you could be in turmoil. You could be feeling um, defeated, as I said before, with that Five of Swords in reverse. But there's some misunderstanding that's going on here. You may feel disappointed. And, and again, the imbalance is coming up again. So this is an opportunity for you're releasing mo emotions in some sort of way. But it definitely feels like it's unbalanced. It's going back and forth between you and someone. And it feels hurtful, whatever this is. Okay, so hopefully that's not the case. But if that resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. But it has something to do with someone else here cancer that's what I'm feeling that you're going back and forth with someone else and someone that you love obviously because if they are if they if they have they're making you feel a level of hurt and sadness you definitely have a strong connection with this person for them to have that sort of impact on you okay um, your where you're headed during this month we have the devil in reverse and I already said initially that this is this energy of you letting go of things, like untethering yourself from things and people that may have done you harm or you just feel like they're it's not serving a purpose. So this is a time for you to detach during this month because you have been feeling defeated. So there's a lot of letting go, severing ties. Let's see why this devil in reverse is here. So this may be a challenge for, for you, whoever this person is here in this obstacle challenge position that you're going back and forth with, you're going to be letting them go. The Judgment and the Ace of Wands reverse. So two major arcanas coming out for you. Look at that. The Devil reverse, remember? And then we have the Judgment and the Ace of Wands. So I definitely feel like you're going to have to make a decision. Some of you might be talking to this person over the phone, um, digitally or in person, whatever this is. Um, but I definitely feel like you're coming to a place where you're starting to realize something and it's time for you to move on from this relationship. That can show up as a friend, family, blood, or chosen. You know, it doesn't matter. But this is an opportunity to forgive and let it go, whatever this is. Because whatever, whatever has been going on between you and this person here, Cancer, has left you feeling blocked and frustrated and feeling like you can't even move forward. Some of you are unwilling to move forward or this is consuming your mind so much that it's hard for you to make a transition. So this is the, this month is going to be the month of transitions of letting go of whatever that has been holding you at, holding you back. Um, <clears throat> because I feel like you're, first off, my throat is trying to close up. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of talking, like some, th some things that you have not said to this person, you're going to be saying, or vice versa, you're going to finally just let it go. Some of you are waiting for the right time. There is no right time here, Cancer. The month of July is your season, okay? Happy birthday to you, by the way. But this is your season to sort of speak your truth, get it off your chest so that you can move on so that you don't have to feel this defeat coming up for you anymore. <clears throat> Yeah, there's going to be some things that may be exposed. 
between you and someone here, Cancer. Like the like the truth will set you free. It's basically what I'm feeling. Something that you may have been feeling because you are very empathic as a water sign. You may have been feeling something, but had didn't have enough evidence. Didn't you know? Didn't have enough proof to you know maybe even confront the person initially. But something is coming to light during this this month and it definitely feels heartbreaking which is why that three of swords came up in your challenging position it feels heartbreaking it feels deceitful it feels i mean it, it sort of just disconnects you in some sort of way and i think it's you're disconnecting from this person it, it all feels very uncomfortable but there's going to be a lot of talking that is going on um during this time Balance is key for you, okay, in this month. So forgiveness is also a, a big factor in, in this as well. And I know some of you, if you're just going through this with someone, you may be in a position where you're like, I cannot forgive them right now. I'm still angry. I'm upset. I'm hurt. All of these things. Give yourself the time and the grace. Be gentle with yourself so that things will make a change for you, your cancer. But there is definitely something that is coming up that you're letting go of or someone that you're letting go of during this month where you're um what's happening in your near future is the seven of cups so i feel like it this initially makes me feel like letting go of this person or whatever this is emotion it doesn't matter a job it sort of opens the door for other opportunities because i feel like you have a lot of things that you think about or desires that you want to fulfill maybe even fantasies for some of you and they're not being fulfilled because you're feeling stuck and defeated okay so page of wands energy is here one more car. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Seven of Pentacles. So we have two number seven. Some of you are seeing seven, seven. Um, but this is about, so the number seven is connected to spirituality and personal challenges as well. It's secrecy. Remember, um, secrecy. So it's like a mysterious number. So whatever felt like a mystery is now coming to light. Okay, so you get some clarity around that. So this is an opportunity to, again, level up spiritually for you. Okay, so there are a lot of things that are going to be coming up for you. <clears throat> excuse me, in your near future. I do feel like a sense of confidence and creativity and energy is coming back into your life. For those of you that have been feeling defeated, there is good news on the way. So whatever opportunities that you have been um, seeking or fantasies or desires that you have been envisioning or dreaming about, I feel like things begin to come to fruition for you. So I feel like there's going to be an opportunity for you to explore. There's someone cancer that could definitely be coming to your life could be a fire sign could be also be an earth sign but it doesn't matter but someone someone you may meet them somewhere else you could meet them online you can meet them in another state you know somewhere that's you're going to meet them somewhere okay i'm not going to say exactly where because i don't know exactly where but because the page of wands here this is a card like this card is like foreign like it's like it's almost like international so you could meet someone domestically internationally or meet them online or whatever and i definitely feel like you're um, going to be investing in something or someone moving forward investing a lot of time and energy into someone um, and really trying to cultivate and set a, um, a stable and healthy foundation and moving forward um, Make sure that you're, again, balance is key. Make sure that you're also taking care of yourself. Make sure that you're not walking into a new situation when you haven't completely gotten over the last heartbreak that you experienced. So there are some things that are coming up. And make sure that, you know, the Seven of Cups energy can be a temptation, okay? So some of you are tempted to explore something else. And, hey, fantasies, desires, whatever, if that's what you feel like, as long as it's not hurting anyone, go ahead and go for it, okay? But I definitely feel like some ex exploration is coming up for you in your very near future, which I really do like that energy because some of you have been through the ringer, and I think about some of the past readings we've just done, there's been a lot of tumultuous energy between you and someone, a lot of chaos, a lot of deceit, a lot of defeat as well. And I feel like you just moved out of something with someone. And although there may still be a little bit of heartbreak there, I do feel like you have a clear vision of where you want your life to go. It feels like you are having more fun. You're in a happier place. Although you're still teetering between that old emotion with that person because maybe that person is just trying to come around in some sort of way and remind you of the things that they put you through. Whatever that was in the past, Cancer, 
you do what you want to do, but I'm feeling don't go back to it because it's not going to it's not going to change in any way. And it's also going to block your blessings moving forward. So make sure that you're open to these things that are coming through for you. Make sure that you're fulfilling your desires and you're happy. Um, joy is, is a, an important thing, too. But make sure you also are taking these lessons that you're learning from these past relationships, family, friends, intimate relationships. Make sure that you're learning so you're not creating these same patterns moving forward okay so some of you have been in a place where you have been blocked because you have been investing your time and energy into something or someone has been blocking you energetically and now I feel like you're going to be in the near future <clears throat> you're going to be coming out of that energy and some of you are already out of that energy so I'm still trying to clear my throat through this there feels like you have to talk about a lot of things and some of you are not just talking to the person who will who hurt you you could be talking to this new person as well about the things that you experience and how you don't want to experience that again how you want to move forward or you can be you know talking to a counselor a therapist an advisor in some sort to sort of work through these emotions that you've been feeling okay all of that it sounds that it sounds like it's healthy it's better it's better to let it out than hold it in okay is what I'm feeling so work on your throat chakra this month as well that is expression. Some of you are artists, some of you are singers, some of you are writers, poets, whatever that is to sort of get whatever that hurt, that pain that you have been feeling, letting that go, talking about it is going to be healthy. Talk, like getting it out in some sort of ways, getting it out of your body is going to be very help for you, helpful for you. Okay, your advice for the month is the Five of Pentacles coming in reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is again is that spiritual power, that um, spiritual upgrade that we were talking about, but really also just gaining your power back because you have been in a place of loss, limited scarcity, whether that is in money or your relationships in general, there has been loss and it's been a difficult time for some of you and some of you are still holding on to that and you're holding on to, I'm hearing spirits say, you're going to need to sever ties, an energetic cord that you may have had with someone. They may still be lingering. Okay, so this, get with a healer as well. I also do remote clearings. Get with a, uh, get with a healer so that you can, um, I'm hearing facilitate this and make this happen. Okay, you need a facilitator to help you release their energy from you. And this is, that's why that devil is here. It's a really, really strong connection that you have with, whoever this person is so getting with someone to cut cut the cords so to speak okay and and I feel like things will get better because it definitely feels like their their energy is lingering in some sort of way and I don't know if some of you are still communicating with this person <clears throat> excuse me or it's just energetically you're connecting with them right there they could be, be projecting their energy onto you as well <clears throat> I'm really trying to clear my throat here, Cancer. It just feels like it's sitting right there and it wants to come out, but it's like not fully coming out yet. I don't know if you're trying to find a way to say it, how to say it, when to say it. Um, it there's, Like I said, there is no right timing in this. You just have to say it in order to move on. The quicker you say it, the quicker that you can move on and heal from this or the quicker that you can let this go, okay? Be gentle with yourself. This is a slow process, especially for those of you who are dealing with someone on an intimate level, maybe even a close friend, um, like a best friend or something, but like a very strong tie that you have with someone. It's going to take time for you to heal, but it's time to heal from this, okay? I do feel like you're going to feel a sense of relief that could be coming up for you as well. Let's pull some cards here. <laughs> do expect um, once you can... Once you sever that cord energetically or you cut off ties speaking to them physically, this person can become very cold towards you. But at the end of the day, you have moved on from that, so it shouldn't matter. But at the, you're not trying to, you're not in the position to want to hurt anyone intentionally. But I know that it's going to sting for you a little bit, fully disconnecting from whoever this is. We have the Queen of Wands. And we have the Emperor, so another major arcana that is coming up for you. <clears throat> I'm hearing you have to put your foot down. 
you're going to have to foot, put your foot down with whoever this person is. I feel like this Queen of Wands, it, some of you could be dealing with a mother and a father, but I'm feeling like you are embodying this Queen of Wands in this way where you are starting to get energy back. You're getting your passion, that fire back. You know, some of you have been lacking. Some of you have been missing. Some of you just sort of put to the side because you were pleasing whoever you were with. But you're starting to find the love for self, love for people, um, your passions, your desires. Like I feel like you're able to see them clearly now. You feel a sense of freedom that is coming up for you. I definitely feel like you have to put your foot down. So there's a boundary that needs to be set. When something comes up, you can deliver. You don't have to pop off. You can deliver things from a place of love. But I do feel like this It's almost like you're starting over in a way where you're learning to trust. You're learning to set boundaries. You're learning to love yourself again. You're learning to um, fulfill your desires and your passions. You're putting yourself first is what I'm feeling. Like you're cutting this cord with this person here, Cancer, so that you can be free to come and do and be you. Okay? Some of you have, this may be new for you <clears throat> because I'm feeling some of you have been with someone for a very long time. Almost, It's almost like a high school sweetheart thing where you kind of had to, you were learning yourselves while with each other where you've never had the time to learn yourself outside of this relationship. So when I say it, sound, it feels new for some of you, it feels like some of you are now in a, are going to be in this new position where you're really going to be learning about yourselves without distract, without being distracted by someone else or without having to share your time because you have other priorities like taking care of a girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, or husband. And, you know, and this is going to play out in different roles for some of you, and that could be just taking care of family in general. Some of you could be taking care of a mother and father as well, a mother and or a father. But I, I do feel like you're stepping back from that and really investing time and energy into yourself. And I love the fact that you are in this position of loving yourself more, understanding your self-worth as well. It feels like pieces of you that were missing have now come back or now you're just exploring them. And I feel like you feel clearer, you feel stronger, you feel more connected to yourself, connected to some of your relationships connected to earth in general maybe you've just been feeling like you've been all over you know all over the place all out of sorts but trust is key here forgiveness is also key here so keep that in mind i'm here in spirit say keep two free up feet on the ground which is very important for you cancer as a water sign <clears throat> where you need to get grounded so um grounding um is going to be very important for you during this month Keep both feet in the, on the ground so your head is not always in the clouds. That's what I'm feeling. Your final outcome is the Eight of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. So I feel like there's, you know, this energy of you mastering something. And I feel like it may be you beginning to learn. you Or you learning how to master your emotions. You learning how to... Um, overcome things, let things go, or, you know, release and move into a sense of power or empowerment. <laughs> but I, I feel like you're going to be working, working on yourself. And that's going to be your main focus. And whatever else is going to be icing on the cake for you. We have the lovers. Look at that. The strength, two major arcanas. A lot going on here. Six, eight, natural progression. Love it. We have two number eights here. You're manifesting something. So some of you are focusing on love. Love for self, love in a new relationship. Um, where there's a lot of passion and romance and trust. Also a lot, lots of lust. And I feel like the lust thing is not a bad thing here, Cancer, because I feel like you were lacking that in the past. You were lacking the desire for your person because of whatever you were going through or whatever the two of you were going through in this relationship. But I do feel like with the lovers that you feel like it's a partnership. Okay, so some of you are dealing with someone where you feel like it's meeting you on your level, on a spiritual level. You're growing together. 
mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, spiritually, and that is most important to you to sort of be in alignment with one another. And I feel like there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of temptation. No, I don't want to say temptation. There's a lot of uh, intensity is the word I was looking for. Intensity between the two of you. Like it's an equal partnership, it feels. That's what it feels like here. And I feel like you are both, you, you both have like the same end goal. Okay, you're, you, you're on the same page, you're headed towards the same end goal. Doesn't mean that you have to take, you have to hold hands and, and go the same exact route. You have the same end goal and I think that's something that you had been yearning for. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I feel like this is a very strong coming together. Whatever you went through in the past, Cancer has is, is set, set you up for this. And um, uh, Spirit is saying something is revealed. So something will be revealed to you in this. And maybe it's an aha moment. Maybe it's an understanding like you deserve love. The lovers number six is about balance and harmony. Look at that. I love this. This is a symmetry. So, you're, so, so someone is... Um, meeting you where you are someone is matching your energy in a way that all of the good things that you feel and that you want for your life they're bringing that it's a it's a mutual feeling here with the lovers you're definitely manifesting that manifesting magic here with the with the with the strength card that number eight so it feels like there is someone and i don't know if that we said someone earlier that they may be temporary because I felt like they were more of a presence of helping you through something. But there is love that is coming in for you. And for some of you, this is just going to be self-love. But I do feel like a harmony between you and someone, a relationship that you're going to be building that's going to be strong. It's going to be, you're going to be, you, you got the same values and morals and the same end goal. And like you're bringing the amount of, same amount of love and everything feels equal to you <clears throat> and I feel like that is what you've been wanting and not that's not to say you didn't have that in the past but I do feel like um there was it was lost at some point I do want to pull a divine timing card around um this relationship with whoever this person is that's coming in let's let's pull a divine timing card and see what comes up for you. when is this person coming into cancer's life in the winter so that's this year okay that's by the end of this year or maybe there is a, a solid foundation that the two of you create by the end of the year so um this if this person is coming into your life in in winter this is an opportunity for you right now cancer to work on yourself to work, focus on love self-love and releasing whoever this person was from the past that has been causing you a headache so to speak so moving on from that energy so you're not taking that into this new relationship so by the end you know by December January 2020 December 2024 January 2025 there is going to be a new relationship that you're going to be working on that is going to be a very beautiful foundation here okay I love that for you here cancer thank you all so much for tuning in that is your reading be sure to like, comment below if this resonates with you. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Share this with your family and friends, your fellow Cancerians. Enjoy the month of July. Enjoy your birthday season. Have a blast and I'll see you guys soon. Many blessings and love and light to you.